next week we are coming to a very important day, which is called Lag Baomer. One can read a lot about it in torahcode.us about Lag Baomer. And we know quite well the custom to make fires all memory to the great rabbi of Shino Bayochai. Now this is a table which we did with Professor Harlik about this idea of this time, which is Belag Baomer Or, it is on certain days of the Omer light, and then which light, light of Torah definitely, and the rabbi, or I'm sure by Yochai, now the place where he was buried, the cave in which he was, was Meron, and the date was 18 of Iyar, Kabbalah, definitely the idea. Now this is a table, one can see it and check it, very interesting one, which is in this side. And then also Professor Aralik, distinguished professor from New York University, in which really with whom he was working. Now you found out that this is a very interesting table, definitely relevant. All the verse are the right verse coming. And altogether, it comes to 14 to under 1,000, quite interesting and significant table. So we are really entering next week to a very important day. And even there are some rabbis who say, as I saw, that this is a time that if we do Tshuva properly, we do repentance, keeping the Torah, the full Torah, it means keeping all the 613 commandments, as we can, definitely, but keeping all the Torah really will bring us, again, merit of Mashiach. But again, as always we saw, that there are dates for Mashiach, but unfortunately, not keeping it, the commandments, translating Shabbos, desecrating Shabbos, transgressing the Torah, unfortunately. So, we are missing very important, significant days, especially this month of Iyar. It's written this is a very important month, and a month which can really bring us to new starting points, if you use them properly. So we were looking for meeting in effect, we look on Lag Baomer. This is Lag Baomer, the thirty third of the Omer, of the days of the Omer. All of them, by the way, come in one book, which is a Deuteronomy, which is still very significant when things come in one book. And what we see is very interesting. We see it also the Rashbi of Shem Bar Yochai. Now, this is the day when the Zohar, Azohar, the famous Kabbalistic book, came out of Shem Bar Yochai, revealed a lot of secrets of Kabbalah, which comes here also, I mean, exactly the right relevant verse, many verse coming here, not only two or three, but many of them, Elijah, you know quite well, is that Elijah was revealing the secrets of Rab Shimon Bar Yochai, the Rashbi. And then looking more into it, we see really this is a time where Mashiach, Hashem Elokecha comes here. And also again, Mashiach, maybe Mashiach Ben Yosef, Mashiach Ben David, but it's very interesting that it comes here really parallel. As so one can see, parallel comes this year, which is A Tavshin Ayn Vav, 5776. Amazing, a time which is suitable so for Mashiach. But again, always, as what we need is Shuva, repentance, coming back to keeping the Torah. And also interesting that we have really Be'iyah this month, Mashiach, which is really appropriate time for Mashiach. We saw this was a month as the first temple. It was really the beginning of starting building it, and the second one was in Israel, the day that they got independence. So altogether, we are a very significant month, but as always we said, what we need is tshuva, repentance, and then we have Mashiach. So let us hope that this really will happen, and really, Jews will keep to up fully, then we have Mashiach coming soon in our time.